Barry Ontario uh, Demolition Derby Aftermath. Uh, Cassandra took this car back in the figure eight. She bent the struts a little bit more, but she actually won. So this is her third figure eight. On her first figure eight, she took third. On her second figure eight, she took second. And on her third figure eight, she won. So I'm super happy about her. Um, the standalone e-brake system worked phenomenally. She was able to lock up both rear tires in the corners, uh, which basically guaranteed her the win. Um, it was a very hard-hitting match. Um, she, there was one point there when her and my, uh, my buddy Dylan collided some hard in the corner and Dylan it ripped the bumper off twisted his frame split his transmission in half took him and put, turned him right 90 degrees sideways so you know what she's a really aggressive driver in this car and she's doing phenomenal um my brother he ran this car um it didn't really run right it felt like there was a dead cylinder in it um, he went into figure eight. He blew a tire on the first corner. He tried and tried and tried to stay with the pack. He got lapped. And he just pulled off to the side and saved his car for the mini smash. Uh, he went into mini smash still running like crap. And um, he basically stayed alive pretty good, making some competitive hits. Near the end, uh, I hit him pretty damn hard. I just mangled his strut. I don't know if you guys can see that there. I pushed in his key, his uh, door so far. I don't know if you can see it because I have it ready for scrap. It's only been home an hour and it's ready for scrap. I bent his cage, split his cage, and then down there I actually ripped his cage off the floor. He said when he seen the hit coming, he let go of everything inside the car and just grabbed onto the ratchet strap that holds him in and held on because... I was doing probably 40 kilometers an hour in my Volvo when I hit him, and I wasn't slowing down. And uh, I drove a Volvo 240 wagon. Now, it's pretty mangled. This car here, it ran really good going into the Derby. About two or three hits into the Derby, I guess the hood caught my throttle system. And it could have been worse, I guess. It could, it could have made my throttle stick close, so I couldn't have given it any gas. But what it did was, I guess it caught on the bottom of the hood right here, and it twisted it. And when it twisted it, it stuck wide open. Like, I physically cannot close that throttle body. So this car was screaming. I couldn't slow it down. I, could, I put my foot on the brakes, and the car would not slow down. And at that point, I just basically started using the front end of my car like crazy. There's nothing else I can do at that speed. I couldn't use my back because every time I tried, the car would go sideways. Um, the frame did kink way down there at the firewall. On both sides, it's going down on driver and up on passenger. Um, that is a Cadillac bumper on the front of there, like a 88 front wheel drive Cadillac bumper. Um, they're very, very strong and it's flat it's completely flat rad's ruined um how i actually lost all my oil is the alternator got smashed in and it went through the side of my oil filter and just dinged up everything um everybody there was amazed that this car ran as long as it did and it for this little 2.3 it was screaming um i didn't run these tires on the front i ran much bigger ones neither of them popped they're not doubled or anything the rear ones, neither of my rear tires pop. They're not doubled. The back came in the way I wanted it to. It started crunching in and coming up out of the way of the tires, which was perfect. I couldn't have wanted it. It couldn't have gone any better than that. But um, what actually took me out was as near the end, the motor just gave out. It, it had way too much. It was redlining for way too long. Pretty much three quarters of the derby, this car was just screaming and I couldn't slow it down. I couldn't turn it off. I honestly thought the officials were going to call me for uh, not having control of the car. But no, the thing just kept going. Um, there, there was chunks of the car underneath the ground. The whole car was nothing but oil. Some of the guys I was running with says, you hit me and as you drove away, your whole car went up in a cloud of white smoke because of all the oil that came out of it. I have an in-car video from this. I really hope it works out so I can put it on YouTube because in the past, sometimes it hasn't worked. But, let's get back to the Volvo safety standards. Does it still be safe? Oh yes, look at that. The door still opens and closes. Sounds like brand new. Um, yeah, you know what? 
I won $50 for my third place, and Cassandra won $150 for her first in her heat for figure eight. We had a great weekend. We wrecked some cars. I laid down some big hits, and the best part was is I got to full track my brother. Nothing better than that.